get this going. Yes, it's some gun race. Wobbles on about the fucking gun- Rothschilds all of the bastard time and all has right. fucking Jordan on. Okay, so we are live. Don't say fucking bugger. And uh, yes, it's so- some gun so- race. Wobbles Ooh, on about the fucking that- gun Rothschilds. Me repeating in the background. Oh, that's. Oh. oh, I was playing. I was playing audio through, weren't I? Ah, uh, okay. So. Um, oh, there's so two things. One of them uh, talk about flooding in hedgerows. That will come later, and um, the next thing will be uh, uh, why have you chosen that as a thumbnail, Hobbit? Why? Why is there? Can I? Uh, oh, hang, hang on. Uh, it's not on this user instance, but we. we Hobbit, also... Hobbit, somebody's tuned out since you started. <laughs> you started on three, now you're on two. <laughs> that's, that's good, isn't it? And, uh, well, one of those you've two... Bought, you've bored someone with the preamble, Hub. <laughs> one of those two people was was, was me, and I'm, I'm thinking the other one was Top Cat, and it's like, oh, shit, he's going to talk about flooding in Edgerows and all that other boring bollocks, so I don't want to listen anymore. Uh, let's see you, if I can scroll back Mage. a bit and uh, find it. I'm sure I put it in like one of these things, just... No, that's that's going back to last week, isn't it? Because you're getting stream cucked, that's why. Oh, am I? Yeah, it, by it, Thomas Boring yeah. Race. Ah, uh, yes. Well, um, yes, that's very... So, uh, to, to uh, address my point of... Bruce's Tom, mate. Thomas Borden Reese. Um, Boring Race. We used, to, we used to have hedgerows. <clears throat> now we don't, because the EU paid subsidies to farmers to rip them all up. And now people wonder why all the flooding happens. It's almost as if Ranstead has understood that, well, if you've got hedgerows there, you'll have roots which will break up the soil, which will act as a flood barrier. Yeah, so bring back hedgerows. There we go. So I've Wasn't done... that something to do with how the Dust Bowl was created? Because they were putting too much grass on the land, weren't they? Or something. Uh, uh, Donnie, Donnie should know about this. I, I don't know much oh, yeah, about yeah. the Dust Bowl. Uh, the dust bowl. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the, it, it was what they were planting on the soil, weren't it, that created the dust bowl, yeah, wasn't it? it? Tore up all the. Uh, it tore up all the. That's why it was a. That's why it was a dust bowl in the Midwest because nothing grew there. So you, you're you're telling me no, that. The, is it, did the dust bowl lead to the depression, or was the dust bowl Pretty a part much. of the re- it was depression? It part of it, but yeah, like the land became very arid. <laughs> Gazoontite fell, and everything went to shit. So. I wonder if I see can... Royal. See Royal Oak. We can we can do your shit better than you can. So yeah, that, so that that happened. So let me just see. Uh, there was a solar minimum in 1985. Solar minimum in 1995. Solar minimum. Two Hobbit, f- hold on a second. Why why are you distracting from the fact that you were going to talk about your thumbnail? Oh yeah, the thumbnail. That's it. So <laughs> yeah. So uh, Toxic Avenger. If I just go, we'll look at solar minimums <laughs> a bit later. So. Toxic Avenger. We'll do that. And one of the classic images of Toxic Avenger is he's got his mop and he's going to mop everything up. So we had yeah, somebody... everything. He's going to mop up crime. Now, now we, we noticed this, Hemi and I, because somebody came to Hemi and says, have I been banned from your channel? And Hemi said, oh, I'll, I'll just check uh, who's been swept. And it took, how many people did you have? Was it like 368? Um, Interdimensional Lizard had been swept. Um, wow. Alphabet Xenon cat, cat had been swept. Domino Morgul. You know, all of the regular fucking viewers. I thought the chat's <laughs> been fucking dead for weeks. What's going on? So yeah. Toxic oh. Avengers been going around <laughs> sweeping up all of our friends <laughs> under the rug. And he's just I'm like... Toxic Avengers. Yeah, <laughs> he's just I don't George, like these George Lincoln Toxic Avengers been just going around and saying like, "Oh, you've had a bit too much to talk. Fuck you." And it's like, but we like these people. I mean, you, you posted you posted twice in this show. Fuck off. I mean, even a complete what? fucking knobhead like Jaff. I've never swept him under the rug. I like it listening to his insane shit about uh, hobbits should get a Mormon wife. Why are you being such yeah. a degenerate Catholic, Hobbit? Uh, come on, Hobbit. Why do you love the Pope? Why do you suck the Pope three, Hobbit? It's just it's funny to watch him just go on. I mean, it does yeah. annoy me, but at the same time, it's like... Yeah, but the thing is, though, like, regular, po- regular posters who I enjoy, like Interdimensional Lizard, 
Domino's a pretty good poster. Um, Alphabet Xenon Cat's a good poster. <laughs> it's all of these, you know, really like good regular fucking posters. Oh, they're all generous, mate. Got to sweep them all under the rug. <laughs> don't like these people. They're not talking about national socialism. Well, just, their standards are awful. They're not being sick on themselves live on fucking yeah. there. You have a bad yeah, standard. Hobbit, why aren't you telling DOA to fuck off the following week? Why are you telling DOA to fuck off? <laughs> well, when she buys me a £30 burger from Five Guys, then I'll tell her to fuck off. Yeah, exactly. That's when you tell her to fuck off. When when she buy, when she when she tries to tell you to stop fucking streaming because you're too pissed. Yeah. Uh, and then buys you a, th- a 30, 30 quid's worth of fucking burger the following day. That's when you tell her uh, tell a bird to fuck off, isn't it? Well, I mean, what I'm gonna do is once I put these shelves up, I'll go and install a balcony and, and then lean over it. And knowing my shoddy workmanship, it'll probably collapse under my weight. Just as I'm doing sequel to the neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so um so yeah if anybody has if anybody in my chat or hobbit's chat has been posting and wondering why you haven't we haven't been we not been answering you it's because toppy had fucking swept you yeah so the the, <laughs> the, the burning wall has come down all of you, uh, you can all be reunited in our chat again, and it's not. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, who was it that was it? Domino Morkel or someone else that Donald Ambrosius came on on the JDLE chat and said, "Hey, have I been banned?" And, oh, no, that was Co- that was Cody Sheffield, uh, yeah. Snake Eyes. Yeah, there we JMK go. So. Got swept too, yeah. It's like it, uh, it's like he's been around since like J- when we were JDLE on fucking Vanguard. That's how long he's been in our chats. Oh, uh, John, no, he's not persona non grata. He's welcome to come back, but when he comes back, he's going to get a little bit of a ribbing. Just put it that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, he, he posted. He posted the other day. Did he? Yeah, he, he uh, not posted. He um he put he did a YouTube video. Did anybody nobody watch it? Oh, uh, what was it? He was eager to get down the gym. Get down the gym because he's been bloating and doing a lot of water retention. I'm, <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to like sort of post tips on a juicing cycle and how not to overdo it so your testicles shrivel up. Because I think that that's what in in terms of fascist fitness, that's what we got to learn. You know, like how to juice enough so that you bulk up fast, but not so fast that your testicles turn small. You don't want winky shrinkage, do you? No, 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 you don't. And, uh, yeah, that, that's... Because just remember, always... Toppy we, Toppy, we love you. You're welcome back any time, but fuck me, uh, have we got to have a word with you? Well, just remember, always use steroids responsibly. Yeah. <laughs> Is that possible, Hobbit? Um, well... Uh, protect your cherished pictures and documents. Your stuff matters. Keep it protected by Jesus. Oh, about I've already set up a backup option and fuck off. Stop pretending I'm some spastic that doesn't know how to use my computer. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Um... Uh, hopefully he comes back. We, oh. we do. I do. I do like top. I do like top. You, you were asking when, when he's me... not. But when he's not being a giant vagina, he's a good lad, isn't he? Yeah. Well, that's it. <clears throat> um. Yeah, remember just... Toppy. If you are thinking of being a giant vagina, don't be don't be a giant vagina. And if you are going to be a giant vagina, don't rub sand into it. <laughs> <laughs> because I was just saying there was salt in there too. Yeah, that, 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 that <laughs> works as a bit of it. That, works was, as a that bit... was an extremely salty vagina the other Sunday when you oh. when you when you took his mop off him. <laughs> I mean, even Nordic was just like Hobbit. Maybe it'd just be best if you give him his his mop back. Just, <laughs> just give him the mop back. Just give him his binky. The bannings will continue until morale He's improves. He's mop. <laughs> yes. He's <comfort> the mop. <laughs> Do, do you think like like Top Cat could become like a, a moderator on hey, Reddit? Look, look, I can see what Alphabet Xenon Cat's saying. Look, what a, it's a new, it's a new century. Yeah, we can, it's, it's, what, we can see what the chat is saying. Free at last, free at last. Hey, maybe we should play that free, free Nelson Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah. So. Uh, 
that's that's <sighs> it. We we've done the science. We we've done the addressing the mop in the room question. <laughs> the mop in the room. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, oh, apparently there might be a new Toxic Avenger film being done. So, that, what was there saying That's... about new Toxic oh, Avenger? Will, it... will he still be allowed to wear the uh, the tutu? What, oh. Or is that anti-trans? Yeah, that's a good question. How can you do Toxic Avenger? Because it, it's been around for 36 years old. So, the last one, Citizen Toxic. And isn't he blacking up? Isn't, isn't Toxy like a white guy? Ah no, to- Toxie is is Malvin um, Kratzenstein, and he he gets. Have you never like fight? Ah, oh, is it worth getting? I've got, a I've, got I've actually got the first issue of the comic series, so I've seen his origin. Oh okay, yeah. So he, he falls into a vat of nuclear waste, and uh, yeah. then um, maybe I can just. Well, he gets fo- thrown in. He gets thrown in by some bullies, doesn't he? Yeah, they they. they well, there you go. The, the proof that bullying works. I mean, he was a ninety-pound yeah. weakling, and then he turned into oh, the Toxic Lord. Avenger. Uh, yeah. Life in London in nineteen fifty. Original we are now. I like that. The first thing that comes up when I open up a uh, a. Um... So what happened to Toppy? He was thrown into a vat of toxic uh, <laughs> toxic steroids. steroids. He was thrown into a vat of toxic masculinity. It was known as our <laughs> server. <laughs> There's a Toxic Avenger musical. You have to do pink oh, that news just grim. for him to uh, Hobbit. You have to do pink news. <laughs> uh, oh well, there will be some pink news, yeah. But oh, oh blimey! Remember that time you did you did pink pink news and it didn't go go down well with a drunk mop, drunk mop cat. Just 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 a bit. <laughs> um, but Peter Dinklage takes the lead in the Toxic Avenger remake. Hmm. That's stupid. Uh, not sure oh, about Julie, that. Julie, Julie. I'll just uh, I'll mute it. We don't need the the uh, thing. But uh, <coughs> so uh, there's Malvin, and uh, he's been uh, blindfolded. He's wearing a tutu because they're all finding it very funny. And if I do this, hopefully it'll uh, fuck with YouTube AI algorithm. Looks like you're playing copyrighted content thing. So they're making fun of him because <laughs> look at him, he's dressed up like a faggot and they're all finding it very, very funny. So uh, that's, that's very anti-Semitic, but there he is. He's fallen yeah. into, into a vat of nuclear waste and the guys transporting it are busy doing cocaine. It was the 80s. So there found he is. More shit. I found more shit on Jordan Gold. Oh, uh, no oh. shit. Okay. Found some old some old articles. So there there is. They, they're all coming around. It's like, oh yeah, the guy's fallen into a vat of nuclear waste. Let's just point and laugh at him as he dies a horrible death. But joke's Usually on pop. them. He doesn't die a horrible death. He suffers a fate worse than death. He becomes the Toxic Avenger. <laughs> Sounds like an 80s porno film. Uh, oh god, yeah. Wait, it you is. haven't seen any of the trauma films, Donny. No, uh, no, I haven't. I'm, I'm gonna. Ah, uh, now how do I share this? It's just porno the... movies with no sex. Uh, n- well, yeah, it, it's, much. it is a porno movie. There is some sex in it, but at the same time, because it's artistic, you can get away with it on YouTube. So, I'm gonna share. I think it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> and how do I make sure there's audio with it? Because I want to try and make sure, like, the chat, the, that's that's us, as opposed to chat, the people on YouTube. Can If I press this, will you be able to hear it? Let's find out. We got Jordan Goldberg with the porn industry and the Wow, where are you? Yeah, I've got. I've just pointed the is article. It, is he and... following the? Was he? Was he in front of or behind the camera? He was a runner, but I've just put the, the link in the Google part if you want to read this. It's Jordan Gold. Oh, did you want to do that? Um, yeah, we can. Oh, wait, is this Louis Farouz under? Uh, uh, let's see if I can find a bit where he's. Melvin, here, are you alright? Melvin, dear, are you alright? And. So he, he, he's been horribly poisoned. So he, just, so he just wanders around covered in toxic slime. Yeah, he, he's horribly injured. There's like toxic vapors coming out of the bathroom. He's he's groaning in agony. And his mum, this Yenta, goes like, Melvin, are you alright? <laughs> so th- this bit, this bit's classic. <laughs> 
you got fucking off in there, ah! Melvin. You got fucking off. You kids are always fucking off. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for the mum's reaction to like, you know, uh, Greek's music's playing in the background. And not a shot. My little Melvin. He must have finally reached puberty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no shock no concern it's just like oh he's finally reached puberty <coughs> there we go so that's uh mm. to oh toppy's live is he he's live <laughs> what are the odds <laughs> fucking out bobcats in the right the fucking, fucking mood isn't he have we got Jesus have, have we got like uh oh, God. Let's see if I can find. Am I gonna stream snipe him, are you? Have I, have I got, <laughs> have I got him on my subscribed list of channels? Let, let's, let's, let's go and watch. I mean, if he's doing free content, we might as well just copy and paste his. Where, where is yeah. uh, I don't, I don't have him. Ah, there's Top Cat. There we go. When the sports ball fans began to hate Over Manchester United, yep. yeah. they saddled the All club right. with uh, debts. Uh, and that's our top cap. They corporatised the club. Yeah, they that's right. Took it away from the fans. He's got right fucking, the got right fucking monk on, hasn't he? Control the club. Aye, that's, but that's right. They yeah. no longer even have an affiliation Skippy with the club. Hey, th this will be the way well, that, you know, after all of the people have been swept under the rug, now I mean, you can watch Top Cat's content. Of what's, what's See, happening. this is like... Yeah, you won't be able to comment in it, but then you'll be able to watch it. Yeah, th this, welcome to Radio Free Luxembourg. We are broadcasting well. from the free world. So today caused a football match <laughs> So I assume he's talking about that thing of the EU Super League with like six respond. football teams now, that yeah. can't be relegated. Is that a bit like uh, they talking about punishing them, aren't they? Of they're talking, like, they're talking about giving them punishment. Well, I think um, they just took a leaf out of the 2008 banking crisis where um, we found places like Northern Rock were too big to fail. It's a premier. It's a premier hub. It's not live as such. I'm sad to say. Oh, I see. Often looked upon with disdain. Oh, so you know a premier. So. Uh, believe their grug brains because uh, you know they've not even read Evola. He's just doing content for um, the show. He didn't mean anything by it, Harvey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They've organized themselves today. This and protested. And this they have is a very good protested. topic to talk I'm about. Thinking about right now, football Sophie. films in general. I agree <laughs> with what uh, you are saying 100%. percent respect for hierarchy. He, Yes. Have it been mocked? Yeah. Can yeah. anyone see if yeah. it's been mocked? Hierarchy. You have. No, it's not. Yeah. See if it shows up. Can you, as it were. Can is it, is you it, wash the as sand organization. out I mean, of how your easy is it to breach <laughs> security at a place like your Old Trafford? Yeah. 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 Security all over the street. <laughs> <laughs> these people in their hundreds have uh, got into the Muppy. stadium. Mop, Moppy's uh, Damien. Moppy's doing a thing. Doing a bit. Doing a bit. Been given the it's like, no, he's not. He's not a stream cucking me, guys. So he just realised that I was struggling for a bit of content. And you'll so he thought, well, I know, I'll, like I'll do contribution. Thank you very much for the not receiving beatdowns from the police segment. I was looking. Is that, read out, read out the blurb that he's put in about the video, Hobbit, because I'm pretty sure it's aimed at you. All right, all right. I'll just I'll mute this for a bit so I can read out Top Cat's voice. There are far more important matches in which sports ball fans ought to be engaged. We have much to learn, but so do nationalists. We must start like Hobbit. Appealing to Hobbit, Hobbit's got to start calling calling DOA the rabbit bitch and hating her this week. We must start appealing to, inspiring, and leading our people. We inspire them by being sick on ourselves whilst listening to Crowded House. <laughs> we yearn to belong to something of higher importance. What is he suggesting that we smoke cannabis instead of drinking alcohol? Is that where we're going to get some <laughs> some higher consciousness and importance? Is is that it? Is, is anyway? Let's get back to Top Cat with the, with the sports. The, um, football firms are respect for yeah, yeah, football firms. Ah, you know, Top Cat is. Uh, really. No, I know, uh, uh, Daisy. Top Cat is not British streaming now. This is a premiere, which he did coincide with uh, the Sunday show. So we take it over to Alan Partridge theme. with uh, British, the sports. <laughs> Alan Partridge. <laughs> Sorry, Top Cat. Nelson, Shackleton, 
<laughs> Jack and Hall, Jack, Jack and Tom can't take his own big plate to the uh, to the battle. breakfast buffet. Oh, I like the idea of that. First. The There's a burger van I go to from, where I take my own no, um, a plate even to it, when but then... <laughs> It's all him. I'm not quite at no, rate my takeaway level. I don't Does really anybody know why he hates Stuart about being this week? Uh, <laughs> these badges, I'm gonna wear them has she yet to have sex with him? That's <laughs> quite man. possibly, but that will go on for quite some British time until he until he puts a stop to it. Always yes. Yeah. With that Fight in mind, greed, ask yourself, hug. does the de facto leader lung? of British nationalism lead from the front? I or don't know. Does he send 16-year-old mm. boys to lockdown protests whilst he sits home Luton. playing computer games? I yes, let's play some, some None computer games. None of these people, games. these football fans, are interested in quirky... Well, I'm speaking of which... Uh, book reviews or buying expensive tea. Yeah, speaking of which, you care about what's have you guys been playing any games this week? In their cities. Oh, yes. Dead's play. I've been playing a bit of Dead Space 3. To I to have, start a family, uh, or even last to night, because <laughs> Steam's got a summer sale on... Figures. Not a summer sale, sorry, it's a... Let's appreciate... Hey, Murph's in. Hold on, I'll bet I don't know Murph's in. Oh. Hey, Murph, how you doing? I, um, I did some archery today. Nice. Um, did, was it nice. compound or longbow? Um, not... It wasn't compound, it wasn't longbow. It was um, recurve, I think it's called. Oh, I like recurve um, bows. Yeah, they Yeah, nice. yeah. And, um... I we we were doing because I bought a bunch of apples, um, so we put apples on the targets. Were well, you doing a William I, uh, towel? I thought, I thought you were going to say you put an apple on your mate's head. And, and I uh, I got a bullseye and skewered an apple. It was really fucking nice. Cool. It was you, badass. I was doing. What's the the, the bows they use? For Wait, the, what you should have what you should have done is you should have got drunk and then put one on your mate's head and go, oh, but, <laughs> no 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 <laughs> I'm all right I'm all right yeah. mate no no, no 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 I'll be all right no 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 uh, that, that probably would have been uh, a bad idea. <laughs> No, 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 it'd be fine. No, 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 mate. No, it'd be fine. It'd be fine, mate. What, what was uh, uh, Hobbit trying to say? Oh, sorry. It's just uh, I was thanking uh, Top Cat for the sports segment, and we'll see him again next week. But seeing as we had your bit about the archery, um, I, I do enjoy archery. I've, I've done it with what's the bow they use in the Olympics? Is that a recurve or a compound? Well, there's, there's um, compound. different... Yeah, Compound's there's... the one with all the wheels and that on, isn't it? Well, yeah, yeah compound is, like, mechanical. Oh, OK, yeah. so, yeah, it's recurve bow. Yeah. And mm. uh, I, pr I, I prefer recurve to um, to uh, longbow. I mean, longbows are nice, so you should definitely... Me first, I like praise. I want no, to I want fired recurve. I haven't fired uh, compound or longbow. But the, the, the thing is, I was doing targets from, like, um, 50 yards out, and... Uh, I, I just, for whatever reason, my targets were always going like to, to the, like three inches to the left and three inches to the top of the bullseye. Was and that wind? Was that wind? No, because it was indoors. And um, in fact, apparently, oh, like, okay, it, you're not allowed to do it outdoors or it's very difficult to regulate or something. But anyway, I was doing it indoors and I just thought to myself, every time I try to regulate, um, I don't know why, like, the next thing it's recommending is the con phone assessing 49ers 2021 draft picks. Oh, because we're sports ball segment, that's why. Um, oh. So, yeah. Um, PPP debates groupers, Black Pigeon Speaks on that AFPAC 2021. Oh, okay. Is in the recommended. Um, oh, Ultimate Envelope Generator. No, that's a me video, that's not a V video. Uh, oh, Raspberry Pi and battery power. Yeah, that's that's interesting. I've been watching uh, PPP's videos this week about baked. Sorry, bread. I'm I'm really confused because I thought you were explaining something and then you just started talking about something else halfway through. Oh right, I'm okay. Really, I'm really I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm disorientated. Well, if right. you, that's if, what that's what Hobbit does. <laughs> like, you have to get used to that when when talking you, to Hobbit. If you click on general, you can see on screen sharing and. So what I was reading, there are flashing, there are flashing lights on the screen. Uh, yeah, and you, <laughs> but you could, if you want to, you can see what I'm sharing on the screen. You can have audio and all that stuff. And uh, so I was looking at the things it's recommending to me, like explaining computers. It's done something about the Raspberry Pi battery power. Uh, Visiting a Chinese takeaway that went viral for Savage. Yeah, for for Savage uh, dog. Chow Mein. The Chinese probably. are just savage anyway. Yeah. 
Um, but no, the, the stuff that uh, Bait Bonanza, where he, he goes to Arizona and finds this girl called Sammy, and uh, that was that was interesting. Uh, Sammy is like very fucked in the head, but quite manipulative, and uh, that was well, uh, no, that was that was entertaining. But in terms of computer games, what have I been playing this week? I've been playing Dyson Sphere. I've been getting back into that again. I made my. I'm going to go now, guys. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Toodle Pip. A good one. Yeah. Um, and oh yeah, that was it. It was the Let's Appreciate Japan week on Steam. So I da I um, downloaded. I bought Yakuza and I bought Ace Combat Seven and uh, of the last. Speaking of gay pride, gay pride, where's Scuggy? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I, th I think I think we upset Gutta Scuggy because I mean, d were we queer bashing him? You cunt for making fun of me and I've got combat. Fuck oh. off, Bobby. I'm not fucking gay, right? <laughs> oh, that was it. Casimir put saying in, in the dealing plans, like, I've heard some disturbing rumours. And I asked him, I said, were those disturbing rumours that, like, Skuggy fancies you? Because, uh, <laughs> you, you know, so far those rumours are unsubstantiated, but I think it, there, there may be some evidence there. Oh, I heard some very troubling rumours recently that Skuggy fancies me. <laughs> Skuggy's got... Oh, if, he, if it's Super troubling Sonic. Casimir, it must be pretty fucking degenerate, doesn't it? Skuggy, no, Skuggy. Me, old man. Oh, Crime Bodge has done a video. I haven't seen it yet. The 40 dirty cops are above the law. So Four that, dirty cops. Yeah, the four dirty cops are above... You said the, the 40 dirty cops. <laughs> Oh, 40, 4, 400, all of them. What's the difference? Uh, you, you know, it's it's the 99.9% .9 of cops that... It's give... not no, no live stream with the trans flag. Is that one of your favourites, is it, I bet? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that's... Um... Interest look, 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 no computer. Is that what Laura, Laura Taylor said to Nana Taylor? <laughs> too soon. Was that too uh, soon, was it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we, as we found oh, out with... Vegas it, Fitness? <laughs> is, is, no, is nobody else wondering why Mark Collett's house hasn't been raided? <laughs> <laughs> well, by, by no one else. I mean, Aunt Laura, Aunt Laura and Sam kind of wondering why Mark Collett's house hasn't been raided. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sure there's a perfectly legitimate reason for that. <laughs> why the money was just resting in his account. It's on a lunacy mm. run. And I, I've got to admit, in this week as well, I've really appreciated the autistic attention to detail that Flossie has when laying her socks out on the radiator. And how oh, nice. nice to have, like... I like, I like, I like, the, way, two, I like the way the, the sock size is, is stitched into the bottom of the sock. Um, but, it's like, it's, it's embroidered into the bottom of the sock, isn't yeah. it? That's, I guess, yeah. But the other thing I like is that she's got, I can see... Two, oh no, four, How, Daisy, why are you picking on Skuggy? You said, why are there so many homosexuals? That, <laughs> Daisy, that's wicked. I'm not fucking gay. I'm not oh, fucking gay. Who said I'm fucking gay? Why, why are there so many homosexuals? Why, it's the choice of women. Whoa, burn. Oh. I was radicalised by millennial woes. That's how it happened. If millennial woes bums me, would he buy me a synth? Is that how it works? Maybe. I mean, with, 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 uh, what, 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 what do you want, Hobbit? No synth or a synth and incurable anal genital warts? Oh, yeah, you know what? Mm, I mean, I'm, I might get be working by the end of the year, in which case I could actually for Christmas save up and get myself... Uh, oh, can, can I show you guys the, the one I've got my, like, uh, my consumerist obsession set? Or beady uh, set. little lion. Yeah, yeah, th th this is... This is what I want to hope that the merchants will give. Oh, you're going to do the Geordie content that Phil's found for us. Oh yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do that. Um, but in the I meantime, found all of his old, I found all of his old articles as well um, with Wayback Machine. So um, he's done some shit criticizing the monarchy that was ages ago. Mm, uh, go from the top. If you, want, if you want to go from the top, there's pictures yeah. of him literally being a fucking Freemason. If you've got um, ten for you already. Well, you, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure the audience is interested in that, but I think more than that, they're interested in knowing what is Hobbit's next synthesizer going to be. So we got some tw oh. we got some twiddly knobs on the left. We've got pitch and mod, so that's good. You've got this bit here, which is some flappy switches. That is that his sister? Is that his sister? Is with there? 
got some more twiddly knobs, Picture. loads of switches. Look, there's even like <coughs> diagrams to say what oscillator you're going to choose. Is it going to be a saw? Is it going to be triangle? Is it going to be square wave? The octave select. So if you want to do sub sub based uh, thing, like an eighty song, you've got some things Ooh. I can't make out there. More twiddly knobs, more Ooh. twiddly knobs. You got some programs sort. You got flashy lights and and you got this bit. Oh, and look at this bit. You see that low frequency compressor? It's not just an equalizer. It's a low frequency compressor. What does that mean? Ooh. Your your bass sounds good. It sounds it sounds <laughs> it sounds proper good. You you put a banging donk on this, and that needle will start flickering. And if it goes into the red, then you know it's going to be distorted. So, yeah, um, that that's what I want to get. And if I look at, actually, you know what? Let's just have a look at prices. Let's just have a look at prices. Like, let's say I want to buy this right now. Like, I, I want to buy Korg. This thing you're doing here, I wish to buy it. Can I buy it? Um, so, like, well, it's telling me similar items and their price. Like, the Prologue 8 is £1,000. But what is the price of the, of the Prologue 16? Like, I want to buy this. Uh, notify me when this project is back. You could go to there right now and you could check it out. But I recommend you don't. It's out of stock. Bastards of it. Millennial Woes has bought up every single copy of the Korg 60. He just like... Not only are they racist, though, Dad, <clears throat> yeah. but they're also sexist. He's like, oh, I Hobbit wants a Korg Prologue 16. Well, the only way to get it now is if he lets Put me it do it. It sounds like someone's falling down the stairs. <laughs> Basically, the only way I'm going to get this now is I'm getting curable genital warts. Thank, thanks, millennial woes. Thanks. <clears throat> so this jawed thing. Excuse me, harumph. <clears throat> that Ooh, that's a, Phil's, Phil's our very own Roger Cook. Our very own Roger Cook has been on the case, Phil. So, what right. so, so basically, if you go from the start, I've put all the links in, and it's been found out that Jordan... Used to work well. Not only as he best friends with a fucking Freemason, but legitimately. Eight things like I learned in porn. Uh, he's got he's got shares in a company with um, a Rothschild. There's loads of information, but I'm about to go now. But I'm still back up there. Oh, so th this one, like here, the dots dot com. Uh, Jordan Gold, editor journalist. I've spent the past two years writing articles for the readers of Kubernetes and Tubbs 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 and Oh, Grove, the brand's social media presence. Managing accounts with some million-plus followers. Wow. Okay, that that's that's his own words. That sounds boring. Um, oh, okay, this this is a bit more interesting. So uh, you don't have access to this link. Uh, let's see if I can open the original. So this is a picture of a bloke in a gay Freemason regalia, and he's got the Google <laughs> Mail um, logo on his skirt. That does look like Google Mail, doesn't it? I mean, hang on. Let's just have a look at Google Mail. Gmail logo. Let's have a look at that. So there's the Gmail logo, right? And then let's have a look at his gay little skirt. Gmail logo. Gay little skirt. Gmail logo. Gay little skirt. That's the same logo, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> and there's a picture of... Is that Ali G? He's a very um, suave looking individual there, isn't he? He's got these um, sort of buck teeth as well. So, um, okay. That's the, that's the person he's got shares with in his company. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. It's the Rothschild. And then we got this photograph here of somebody. Is, the, is this this person does not exist dot com? This That's the man himself. person does not exist. Have you seen this website? This person does no. not exist. Yep, I've but seen it. Every time you press F5, it generates like a random face. And yeah. all of these faces, including the backgrounds, these people don't exist. It's just an AI has generated them. So each time you press F5, it's... And I don't know how it does this. 
or how it makes it so realistic. But <laughs> that like, doesn't look real. <laughs> that that one. What the fuck is that? That that one. Some Arab peeking out. So this one is imagined by GAN, Generative Adversarial Network Style GAN 2. So let's do another F5. I mean, that, that one looks real enough. That one, well, that's the problem with Mystery Mate. They, they do look a bit yeah. weird. Uh, that looks like a typical poor Lou. That, that looks like... You, these look like normal Let's human the faces. Brush. Yeah, they do. So this is the thing. I, I think, like... The, there's, a, there's something I want to probably do in 14 words at some point, but... <laughs> Oof. Oof, usernames that have done a deep deep dive there. Looks related to Danielle Nichols. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just mentioned, like, um, oh, there was a really gorgeous-looking girl I saw in a film. Oh, that was it. Uh, the Rocketeer. Uh, the Rocket Oh, Jennifer Connolly. The Rocketeer, what, 1991. Jewish. Let's see if I can Jennifer find Connelly. some images from the Rocketeer. Yeah, with Jennifer Just Connelly. Just type in Jennifer Connelly. Oh, okay. Uh, Jennifer Connelly. There we go. Let's let's see some images of her in this film. So, so are you saying she's not actually Irish then, uh, Donny? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, she's what? She's uh, she's more likely to be related to Geordie. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> there, there we go. I mean, that's that is gorgeous. You know, there's. There's a nice, uh, you know, she's still feminine, but there's there's a good like definition in the jawbones there, good definition here, nice looking eyes, like those lips are good. Everything about that is just like you know what she she is. Why can't we have like women? she don't she don't do out on a Friday night or a Saturday morning? Why can't we just? <laughs> why can't it be women like that? I know this was 1991, which was unfortunately 30 years ago. But uh, oh yeah, you mean, the, you mean you 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 mean you don't like the plethora of uh, mulattoes paraded on our TV, then Hobbit? Uh, no, no. The, the the watching adverts with you was a bit of a slap in the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, the Rocketeer, by the way, is a is a great film, <laughs> and if you haven't seen it, I watched it last week. Uh, really good. Thoroughly recommend you you get a copy for yourself somehow. It's by Disney, and th for whatever reason, they've never. That's when like, Disney wanted to make money, wasn't it? But they don't seem to want to do that anymore, do they? Well, Disney is like we've, we've got enough money now, so what's our new business strategy? I know. Let's annoy our customer base. Late, uh, uh, yeah, alienate anybody. Let, yeah. Let's pay four billion for Star. Apparently, they haven't made the money back on Star Wars because you know most of it has shit the bed so badly. Gosh. Really? Oh yeah, and you said, yeah. So, I mean, who'd have thought making shit films with unlikable characters would would lead to you losing money? Um. So what what else have we got about uh this this Jordan Gold character, Jord, who's one Jordan tenth, Gold. one eighth, one 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 percent, somewhere but somewhere between one and a hundred percent, so, <laughs> depending on what day of the week it is, this, depending on who he's talking to, depending on whether he's down temple or not. So this, oh, awesome. sorry, Phil. Mm. Just say, it just it just so happens that he's like a best friend with a Freemason, and is literally a business partner with the Rothschilds, and has worked in the porn industry, and um, um yeah. So whoa, well, hold on. As it stands, the only way for men to take control of their own fert fertility is to get a vasectomy. Oh, this is by Jordan Gold. So he, oh yeah, they yeah, they're yeah. talking about a male yeah, birth control pill. Jesus. Yeah. Christ. Right. Becoming a beco so trad, dude. He's so traditional. Yeah. yeah. So he's yeah. just well, look at the adverts down the side. Video. Watch how fleshlights are made in this in this gripping documentary. Where, where's that? Oh, Gri okay. Is yeah, that yeah, gripping at? Is that gripping at the base? Yeah, oi, oi. I, I think <laughs> gripping is like the editorial staff and they're on the ball. <laughs> 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 Um, so yeah, he, he's there. He is advocating male sterility. So where, where's the next thing we got here? Uh, eight things I learned as the runner on a porn set by Jordan Gold. In Unless he just makes this shit up, there, there is every possibility that these people make this shit up. In the summer of 2013, after graduating from film school, I was like, you know what would be a great job? Working on the porn set. 
So, uh, what what happened? You know, you, you went to Temple and the rabbi said, uh, Shmuley here can get you a job, Jordan. So, number one. Porn, gotta be in film. Porn. Gotta be in film. Porn is really hard work. Get <laughs> 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 it? <laughs> Two. <laughs> Everybody except the director is an intern. Ah. Okay. Uh, porn stars are reassuringly normal. Uh, you know what? Um, yeah, I mean, most most of them have been abused by their fa- by their father, uh, covered in tattoos, get railed oh, all of, uh, all day every day. But they're just like me and you, Hobbit. Just like me and you. Well, I, I'm, I'm not gonna, normal if you're a Jew, though. If I'm, I'm you not. Know, I'm well. not gonna like mm. uh, image search results. The things about Lola Ferrari. So hopefully the Wikipedia article. Oh will not get us in trouble. But there's Lola Ferrari, reassuringly normal porn star. And Why she... have you been Googling Gmail logo? <laughs> ah, right. It's like the so Freemason thing. Because, uh, uh, because this image here, I said, that looks like the Gmail logo. And ah, then, right, okay. Um, I don't have the thing for the Gmail logo up anymore. But Mrs. Like... has just had her hair done, so I had to go and do the bit. Oh, it looks lovely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just had to go and do the bit. You look like a million bucks, green and wrinkly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so so th- this is Lolo Ferrari. So let's just talk about this reassuringly normal Lolo Ferrari, which anybody who's watched Eurotrash will be familiar with. Um, so breast enlargements. Uh, ah, before that, uh, background. In 1988, she married Eric Vignier, a former drug dealer... Um, 15 years just like, th- these people are just like me and you Hubbard. yeah you know it's just like 15 years older just come out of prison for uh, like a lengthy sentence for distributing with intent to supply uh, she then started work as a model with a husband as manager she also worked as a prostitute and her husband was arrested for being a pimp Oh. Just like me, you know, the the, the normal day to day, you know, Rea- typical. In in the words of Jordan Gold, porn stars are reassuringly normal. So let's talk a bit more about Lola Ferrari, who's reassuringly normal. Encouraged by Vigna, she underwent, beginning in 1990, numerous plastic surgery operations to create a 180 centimeter silicon enhanced bust. She was originally a thirty. 30- I mean, that, that's that's completely normal. There must be at least three or four women in 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 my road that have had this exactly the same, because they're just like you know, just like people you live near, live near next yeah. door to, aren't they? So she had twenty two enlargements, <coughs> which is a Guinness World Record. Guinness Book of Records, two thousand three, indicates each of her breasts weighed two point eight kilograms and contained three Oof. liters of saline. So, porn stars are reassuringly normal. Uh, she wore a specially engineered brasserie. Her brasserie measurements have been given various sources. So it's like the one you're trying to invent, Hobbit. Oh, well, that was it. Um, I was trying to... Uh, like... as, as, um, as DOA offered to take you up on the offer of a bra fitting. Well, that's the thing. I, I said I needed to like work with some women so that my my bra does, my, my counterweight bra design, because if you've got like 2.8 kilograms in each tit, you're going to need some good counterbalances. Um, yeah. Uh, the breast implants themselves were reputed to be designed by an engineer who was involved with the design of the Boeing 747. You mean like the same sort of counterbalance, you know, when you've had like when you've had like a full crate of cores that you need like eight cans of Tisky just to wash it, that, that kind of counterbalance of it? Y- yes, th- that's what's called a balanced diet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd be willing to test that woman's bra size. Sorry. You can't because you can't she's dead. Yeah, yeah. she, she well, died it. in... Oh! Wait a minute. Shall, shall we go into the death on the morning Sorry. of it's it's all right you weren't to, you never watched euro as uh, growing up did you stash oh uh, sorry clown no X. you wouldn't have done Cla- <laughs> fuck's clown sake. x um i don't know who this stash is i was I talking about my mustache everything. wasn't i that's definitely why I was referring to my moustache. But anyway, yeah. you don't know about Lola Ferrari, who died on the 5th of March 2000 at the age of 37. She's found dead of undetermined causes. No, it wasn't undetermined causes. She was found dead because her pimp boyfriend gave her an overdose of drugs when he realised he couldn't make any more money off of her. Uh, but that, he, I, I, thought, I thought she suffocated because of her boobies. So the original autopsy determined that she had died... I don't mean like that sleep, anyway. Um, <laughs> apart from with so. like uh, with great difficulty, obviously being, say, being the obvious answer. Not, 
the, yeah, not very well. We'll get that one out. We'll get that one out of the way with yeah. great difficulty. But how on their side? Well, on the front's obviously out, isn't it? The original autopsy determined that she died of an overdose of antidepressants and tranquilizers. She had been depressed, and her death was ruled as a suicide. Her parents suspected that the husband was involved, and a second autopsy was approved two years later. The second autopsy... Now, remember, the reason we talk about Loda Ferrari when talking about this Jordan Gold is because he says porn stars are reassuringly normal. And this is just one example I can think of. There are many other examples where reassuringly normal means, yeah, lifetime of child abuse and then, like, abusive husband. Um, so... Oh, oh, okay. So... Her parents suspect, yes, yeah, so the second autopsy found that mechanically induced suffocation could not be ruled out. So her disgusting ex drug dealer pimp boyfriend put a pillow over her face. Her widow was suspected of causing her death, was arrested, and spent 13 months in prison. You don't spend 13 months in prison, it's like, well, we're not sure if it was a suicide, but it you do might if you're not black. Be yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, but black people just get arrested just for being on the street. And look at George Floyd. Just for the colour of just, their skin. He was just out trying to trying to buy a pack of menthols, and look what happened there. Well, no, he was trying to buy a banana with a twenty dollar bill, which was not a twenty dollar bill. Um, so when is a twenty dollar bill not a twenty dollar bill? When it, George Floyd is presenting it for a banana. <laughs> <laughs> so. It, it, it's uh, so now. Now we've we've established like here's an example of porn stars reassuringly normal. Let's see what Jordan Gold has to say about this. Who you wrote? When I talk to my mates about I'm worked in porn, I usually met with two responses: four or serious sounding questions about exploitation or drug abuse. Lola Ferrari. In reality, it was pretty normal, and not at all dissimilar from working on any film set. Oh, what about China White? Like you know, China, China White, like uh, C H Y C H Y N A. Thought it was just China. Um, Ch Stephanie Christine Lewis, better known as China White, is an American yeah. rapper, songwriter, and author. Oh, hang on. No, it, it China, China, W W F. China. 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 China, born Joan Marie Laurier, um, died in 2016, was an American professional wrestler, glamour model, author and bodybuilder. So let's, let's see a bit about her, her life. So uh, parents divorced when she was approximately four years old, so off to a good start. She had three different stepfathers and one stepmother, and I'm sure none of them abused her. According to Laurier, her first stepfather threatened suicide at one point. And a biological father who once accidentally stabbed a mother in the fire with a bread... Uh, you know, just accident, just bread knife, stab yeah. wife, mother. It had a problem with alcoholism. I mean, who hasn't accidentally stabbed someone in the thigh with a bread knife? I, I mean, oh, God, if, if I had a penny for the number of times I've accidentally <laughs> stabbed someone, I would be as penniless as I am now. <laughs> <laughs> as a child, Laura learned to play both violin and cello. She later said that in seventh grade she was sexually... <laughs> George the Fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> As a child, look... So, so she, she's a child now, and she's been sexually abused by a, a music teacher. At age 13, whilst attending Penfield High School, she began purging after she ate. She left Were her... You age... sexually kissed by my child and teen? What? I... The fucking wording. What? Uh, well, uh... It... Like there's a uh, biography where that's the citation there. Um, she left her at age 16. Her mother tried to force her into a drug rehabilitation. I can't, I can't remember who, who it was I was talking to online. I was talking to someone online who had actually like gone around researching all the bios of all these porn actresses. They they've led the most degraded, fucked up lives that you could ever think of. So remember this. This is Jordan Gold here saying that porn stars are reassuringly normal. Uh, hey, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that guy. Well, They're actually, just normal like me and you, guy. Wait a minute. If all of his reference of normal is fucked up like abuse and ch child abuse and stuff like that, then yeah. when the porn stars go, ah, oh, they've not been as sexually abused as I have growing up, ah, oh, I guess they're reassuringly normal then. Yeah. <laughs> because, no, I, the, the, sorry, <clears throat> this week I've been listening to PPP interviewing Chaggart, and Chaggart... Dear audience, if you're not familiar with it, is a very—he's a very special, 
very unique and misunderstood autistic man. He's an autistic man who's definitely not gay. <laughs> but poor, poor sweet Fripple wants a fluffer. Oh. <laughs> poor sweet innocent Fripple. Oh, well, Fripple, we got a story for you. Friff. I, can you believe the People's Journalist doesn't know what a fluffer is? Bless him. Yeah. Friff, may <laughs> I su- may I suggest you watch one of my favourite cheesy sci-fi shows called Lex? In season four, there's an episode called The Fluff King, and it's where Stan the captain. He meets like the reincarnation of Lyca, his girlfriend, and she's a porn actress. And uh, he gets a role as her fluffer. And um, <laughs> so, if you want to know what, what a fluffer is, whoa, whoa, then what kind of movies you watching, Abbott? Well, Lex, it was literally softcore pornography. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to do a two oh. bones about it. It was like they're on the ship, and every episode they're going somewhere to try and find a place to have sex with hilarious consequences. I've seen, um, I've seen um, Overlord DVD, which is quite a good channel if you're interested in uh, like nerd culture and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, there's a start. There's a rumor that Gina Carano is in talks with Disney to return to The Mandalorian. Good, Oof. good. Oh, but here we yeah. go. This is a nice admission. Um, in reality, it was pretty normal and not at all dissimilar from working on any other film set. What, like a film oh, right. set with Macaulay Culkin or Michael Jackson on it? <laughs> oh, where, where women, where, where women's anuses fucking prolapse. Is that quite normal on a film set? Oh, it just, well, it, it depends. Is Harvey Weinstein <laughs> producing the film? Uh, <laughs> with his little egg shaped penis. Oh, I'd rather, <laughs> rather not think about that sort of thing. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I know it goes on. I just, the, the, the gory, like, butcher's table details, I don't want to do. It's before well, nine you o'clock. Know, my, my, thoughts, my thoughts on the on the Me Too of this is it seems to be that you suck my dick is bad. I'll suck your dick is absolutely fine. I, I, think, I think women who offer to suck dicks should be treated every bit as bad as guys that expect their dick sucked well if because one, one because one because one obviously leads to the, they both lead to each other don't they can i just say that the idea of dick i mean if, if there's if there, if there's a thing where like like actresses can get film roles by sucking dick then then the guys giving out film roles are going to expect their dick sucked for a, for, for a thing aren't they so like you know one thing is causing the other isn't it they, they both perpetuate each other don't they can I just say, I, I, I mean, for the record, I'd like it to be known that the, the I, I know, like, people enjoy it because otherwise it wouldn't go on, but dick sucking, it's like, I, I don't really want my willy near th- that near someone's teeth. It's happened to me a few times before, and it's like, you're, you're scraping your teeth against a very oh, sensitive... You're, you're scraping, oh, your, you're scraping your teeth against a part of me which is sensitive. I'm. This is not pleasurable. Hobbit, Hobbit, blowjobs aren't about aren't about aren't about getting off. They're about power. They're about making a woman do something yeah. she doesn't want to do. But then it's, why did she, she, it's about it's about flexing on women. That's what the blowjob is. Then why did she film. why did she offer to do it to me? Yeah, she wanted you to brush her teeth up. Ah, oh, I see, I see, yeah. There, there there, we have it, right. Okay, so it wasn't just about me, it was also for her benefit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You see, that's the problem. Whenever I have sex, it's always very selfish. It's like, what What are you doing for me? You, you're scraping your teeth against my bell end. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, dear. So, th- oh, dear. let's get past the point <laughs> where... <laughs> Let's just good job, good job Mark Cat isn't there, although you've been swept off your own show. <laughs> so let's just uh let's just Standage. Let's just brush up Standage out. Beach. Let's just uh Standage j- Beach. Jenny past this this otherwise we'll never get through this article. Let's just go on to the next point. It's surprising how much food people eat. Filming oh. a s- uh, filming a single <laughs> scene. Yeah, so I I just I don't want to get into it anymore. So filming a single scene can take days, especially if it's long or if it involves exterior shots and cutaways. Are we still talk about porn now. Uh, oh yeah, this is eight things I learned from working in porn. Um, okay. Judging by how little the staff get paid and the fact most films are shot in borrowed houses, I assume a big chunk of the budget is spent on catering. 
My most memorable, memorable experience of all time involves watching a professionally choreographed money shot while eating a cucumber sandwich. Given, given what people are doing on set and they're probably touching those sandwiches, would you eat at a buffet at a poor oh. shit? <laughs> Oh, Friff, Friff is asking, how the hell does a 22-year-old film I think he's studies... talking about the British. I think he's talking about the British porn industry, isn't he? He didn't specify that it was in LA, did a he? A film studies oh, graduate. It does, spe- it does specify that he went to LA. Yeah. Went to LA. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's, it, Friff is oh, yeah. asking. Well, well, Friff, well, he obviously had some cousins out there. Oh, oh yeah. God. So, uh, I got some connections, guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we we get past the bit where he's eating a cucumber sandwich as a, as a, a dick on legs is coming on a woman's that, face. <laughs> he was a eating a sandwich. cucumber sandwich after after one of the actresses had already put her hands all over all the food. Yeah, yeah. So you you can't help but feel seedy and guilty. I mean, afterwards. I'm not even a germaphobe, but even I couldn't eat anything at a fucking porn shoot. You should probably shut that pickle from half across the yeah. room. room there, yeah, what if he overshoots and it lands on the fucking buffet? Considering I've got that gif of the, the woman and she's got a cucumber in her snatch and then it fires and, like, some Palestinian house gets blown up, I just... I never flicked a cucumber in the same way since then. <laughs> I just can't, can't help it. Oh, dear. Oh, I did, I did you not... Want, know. You want me to mayo sandwich, uh, would you? I was Fucking just, off. you know what? I actually had some articles I wanted to do for the show. I was going to briefly talk about <laughs> Top Cap janning people and erecting a Berlin Wall to separate us from our own audience. I was going to talk about <laughs> flooding and hedgerows. But anyway, this, let's try and muscle through this. I with the fluffer. Yeah, so yeah. you can't help but feel seedy and guilty afterwards. Due to stringent regulations and fear of being fired, crew banter on the porn set is severely limited. The combination of long, eerie silences and a lack of humour leaves you with a sound taste in your mouth once shooting ends. That could be the genital Is it, isn't the Isn't the lack of humour generally due to the people that finance these things? <laughs> and people like Jordan. Oh, I thought they had a great sense of humour. Uh, even if you know the people having sex... Yeah, being... I, ke- I, keep get, I keep getting told that... Uh, what's that one about Amy Schumer? The, the Amy Schumer said, said, told everyone when she was a kid she was going to com- be a comedian. They all laughed at her and no one's laughing now, are that's they? That's it, that's it. There we go. So, um, <laughs> even if you know the people having sex were being paid a hundred times more than you, the awkwardness of having lurked in the background, fully clothed, can't be avoided. Uh, well, it's a one big humiliation ritual, isn't it, Jordan? You quickly become. And you know it is. You quickly become desensitised to sex. I think that's the point of pornography. The yes. giant 4K lamp used to light the face of the actress is too heavy to fit on the rig. You're going to have to stand next to her while the camera is rolling and reflect it at her face. After 15 minutes, your hands are hot and sweaty, and it's starting to feel like a workout. At that point, the last thing you care about is the fact that two consenting adults, citation needed, are rutting like stags two feet away from you. Truthfully, I didn't masturbate for a week after each Rutting like stags? Yeah. Isn't a stag a male deer? Well, Jordan... Suggesting there's two... You know, I I don't know what sort of films he was doing, but maybe (laughs) it was like 18 gay guys at the Ram Ranch fisting one another. Yeah. 18 naked cowboys at the Ram Ranch. Truthfully, yeah. I didn't masturbate for a week after each shoot. Thank you for that information, Jordan. Porn felt like the last thing I wanted to look at. Oh, it's like working in the chocolate factory. You just get sick of the sight of chocolate. <laughs> it's both grimy and glamorous. What? This was an undeniable aura of excitement about working in porn. Maybe for you, you dirty bastard. At least for the first shoot I worked on. Sure, there were moments which seemed forced and superficial, highlighting how shallow porn really is. Other than that, though, it's just long periods of boredom. Porn shallow? Get out of town! You're you're telling me that Oliver Stone isn't interested in doing the screenplay for Backdoor Sluts 9? Um, (laughs) other than that though it's just long periods of boredom punctuated by moments of sheer terror whenever a producer orders to run to the fridge and get him a coke 
He does he keep, mean the drink or does he mean something else? He keeps his cocaine in the refrigerator next to the Coca-Cola. Yeah. Nobody will remember. Have Haven't we already done this gag? Nobody. Or am I, get, or, or am I getting <laughs> Sophia no. deja vu? No, you, we, nobody we, will remember your name. I don't remember doing that joke. Not at least not in this show, Hemi. So you're getting the deja vu. Uh, yeah. Nobody yeah, will remember your name. Milo hangs out with this guy. Hobbit. You know that. Uh, Milo Yiannopoulopoulos yeah. hangs out with this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and they've been temple together. Oh well, yes. yeah. I'm, I'm sh- um, so. Uh, well, f- thankfully, Jordan, due to the we- webarchive.org, the Wayback Machine, we do remember your name. Uh, this well, is yeah, probably a good machine. thing in the long run, <laughs> but in the heat of the midday sun, while clapperboarding a scene where two lesbians, well, at least he admits that lesbians are a hoax. Lesbians are as real as dinosaurs, by the way. It's a yeah. hoax. It's just two women trying to get attention from men and give them a stiffy so that they get a good shag. And any woman will agree with me on that. Unless they're ugly, bull dyke lesbians, in which case they're too ugly for men, so it's like, well, if I can't get a man, I'll become the man. So, lesbians aren't real. Like this one. Old letter reveals that Obi-Wan thought Star Wars was a bit rubbish. Yeah, it's common knowledge that Alec Guinness absolutely hated every minute of being in Star Wars. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, when a director says, hey, you, dude, grab that. No, buddy, not that. Yeah, that. Move out of shot, pal, quick. You feel like a bit of an 18th wheel. Ultimately, though, I wrapped the last point... an 18th sh- wheel? It's a spare wheel. It's a spare wheel or a fifth wheel. A third Fucking wheel? Journali- Fucking journalists. Fucking it, journalists. It's almost as if, like, the, like the, the lifetime of abuse he <coughs> suffered as a child has uh, gone on to have no consequences in, in Jordan Gold's adult life. Um mm. Ultimately, though, I wrapped the last porn shoot with a warped sense of pride and a big appreciation for the work ethic of the people who make it. I also wanted to go home and take a shower. So that that was thanks to uh, our gumshoe Phil, who found this uh, archived uh, article. Yeah, Frith Wolf, pull your fucking finger out, pal. Yeah, yeah. You, you frith- he's, got, also, he's, got, he's got. He did an anti an anti monarchy post. Where he was talking about getting rid of the yeah. monarchy. He's talked about anti-slavery and so. Uh, uh, what was the things I I wanted to talk about today? Ah, yeah. So it is a palate cleanser for everybody. We're not talking. We'll go, we'll go over the we'll go over the rest of it on Tuesday, I think. So, dear audience, I would like to say welcome to the second hour, and I would like to start this hour on a bit of a sad note for myself. I didn't realise this happened, so this is why I'm doing a a memoriam for Rex Garrod. And this article was from the 8th of May, 2019. Rex Garrod actually sounds like a Star Wars character name. So, do you remember The Secret Life of Machines with Tim Hunkin and Rex Garrod? No. Nope. I loved that show as a kid. I It was so good having a show explaining all about how these machines came to be. Uh, I didn't realise that Rex Garrod had actually been busy since then, because I thought to myself, I wonder what Rex Garrod's been up to. So, oh, he's dead. Yeah. Uh, well... Uh, we'll, we'll go into it. The children's television car Brum and Robot Wars creation Cassius attended the funeral of their inventor who died aged 75. More than 300 people attended the send-off of Suffolk Bogineer Rex Garrod at St. Mary and St. Lambert Church in Stoneham Aspel near Stone Market. Mr. Garrod, who competed in Speedway, made objects for television shows including Teletubbies. It's daughter- Stone Market, that's out east, isn't it, I think? Um, well, I imagine it's down south somewhere. His daughter Kay paid tribute to the ingenious, unique, mad inventor. Mr. Garrett's friend and fellow inventor, Tim Hunkin, who designed the coffin for him, said, Rick's lived life to the full and his life needed to be properly celebrated. I'm not surprised by the numbers coming to his funeral. There were always visitors to his workshop and he was always sociable and making things for people. So there's there's the coffin that is mate made for him, which Suffolk, is Suffolk Hobbit. I told you out east. Yeah, uh, on the busy A14 trunk road between between Bury St Edmunds to the west and Ipswich to the southeast. The town is on the main railway line between London and Norwich and lies on the River Gippin, which is joined by its tributary, the River Rat, to the south of the town. Ah, well, considering that uh, Mr Garrett's from Suffolk, that's only fitting. So th- there's the uh, there's the coffin uh, for his send off, which when I when I saw it, it made me both smile and tear up because I'm like, 
Yeah, he's he's dead now. Nice touch with the feet. That's, that's nice I, touch. I, I do like it. It's, it's, it. It sort of made me smile, but then it's like, yeah, but he's that's his remains. And it just, it, I, I, I conflicted emotions when I saw it, but it's like that was his wishes, so that's that's fine. The vicar at Stone and Maspal Church, the Reverend Philip Payne I'll go says, down a little bit. What's that sound on the head of the coffin? Um, oh, down, go down, 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 down. Rex Garrod. Rex, oh, Rex Garrod. Oh, yeah. that's... And it, yeah, so his date of birth and his date of death. At the vicar at Stone and Aspel, uh Church, Reverend Philip Payne said, so many people came to say goodbye back when you could do these things. Remember 2019, the before times? Everyone has a happy story about him. Mr. Garrod's wife, Sally, described him as a big kid at heart. Mrs. Garrod, 69, who married him in 1992, said he was eccentric. R- really? An inventor? Eccentric? They called him the Professor of Bodgineering. He likes that. Mr. Garrod, Who was he in Star Wars, then? Mr. <laughs> Mr. Garrod died in April after living with Alzheimer's for eight years. Uh, growing up in Mickfield, Suffolk, Mr. Garrod rode for Ipswich Witches, Ipswich Witches, as well as Scunthorpe in Speedway before venturing into special effects alongside former motocross rider Dave Bickers. He presented Channel 4's The Secret Life of Machines with Mr. Hunkin. Um, as well as his own TV work, Mr. Garrett entered free robots into BBC's Robot Wars, where it saw teams of build and fight machines. At the time of his death, Tully Tubby's creator Anne Wood, creative director of Ragdoll Production Limited, says, We loved working with Rex both on Brum and in creating interactive Tully Tubby devices. So there you go, see? That Brum, which is a great show, by the way, beautiful little car. He did that. That that's Rex Garrod's work, his Bram. And I didn't know that. I was like, I, I loved that show as a kid, and I loved Secret Life Machines, and I didn't realise it's the same man responsible for bring so much joy into my life, really. So, um oh here we go. Ragdoll Productions, Bram Bram and creating entertainers. Yeah, we've done that. So there's Cassius, which was instrumental in Robot Wars history for having one of the first self writing mechanisms which nearly all the other teams copied because flipping a robot onto its back uh, would just be an instant defeat. So, like, we should invent a mechanism to put you back on, on your feet. Uh, so, yeah, he, he died. And oh, do you know what Ragdoll Productions' first programme was, Hobbit? Rosie and Jim. remember Pob? Pob. Pob. Uh, when was that aired? 85 to 90. Ah, uh, Pob. Nah, I remember Rosie and Jim though. That was good. Oh uh, yeah, there was actually they did Playbox eighty seven to ninety two, Story Time nineteen ninety, and then Rosie and Jim was their fourth production, and then Brum. Yeah, and then they did Tots TV. Uh, just the highlights of Teletubbies. I quite like uh, Tots. Booba. I, I like Tots, Booba. Tots TV because they'd have Timmy, Tom, and, and uh, the woman. And she'd say everything in French, but then one of the other uh, tots would repeat what she said in English. And uh, my mum liked it as well. She's like, oh, it's so good. They have a bilingual children's show. And I was like, yeah. (laughs) I did did kind of... And there was... uh, No, it was was a charming show. They actually did, like, some generally charming stuff. um, Back before the horrors of television. Oh, no, Richard Ugabuga's gone missing. Oh, I know, it's a shame, isn't it? So that was one yeah. thing I wanted to cover. Um, oh, yeah, I mentioned about uh, some thermal paste because uh, Phil's going to... No, here's another, here's another palate cleanser. That This is a bit more indulgence on my side. So what's this thing I see here on eBay? Oh, yeah, but why are you covering up the fact that Richard Uke... Is that, that pink configuration? Don't look quite right to me. Uh, that could be uh, a B, <sighs> B plus M, M plus B. The fact is, it fits into an M2 slot, because if you look at it, an M2 slot is pin identical to a PCI Express slot. It's just you might not have any PCI slots free, but you may have a slot free for that. So it's not just storage drives you can stick on an M2 slot. You can stick like a a, a radio modem into it, and you can got other things What's as well. that thing there that you're pointing at? 2.4G. Um, 2.4G. Wi- Wi-Fi wireless card 2.4G. I don't want a 2.4 gig one. You want a 5 gig one, don't you? It says, this is a high-performance wireless networking adapter. Except, yeah, you can... 
Wi-Fi wireless card 2.4 gigahertz wireless Wi-Fi 2 and wireless card for Mini PCI Express card. Uh, Mini PCI Express that will go in a piece M2. But that's it. I found out that not only can you get storage devices and and radio communications, but you can also get um, you can also get a, a, a graphics card. There is actually a, like a, a graphics card that goes. M2 graphics card. Anyway, why why is this why is this whole program about obfuscating the fact that Jerry Nadler shits himself a bit? I know, I know, right? Um, like Jer- Jared Nadler didn't want to like do s- subsidies into M2 diversification, um, and that's that's why you know th- this thing remains as a bit of just a curiosity. Like, here's a graphics card that goes into your M2 slot because why not? It's a PCI Express Ooh. thing. And it's got 16 megabytes of RAM on it, so you're not going to be playing the latest games on it. And uh, those pins there mean you can connect a 15-pin VJD sub to it. It's useful, like, I suppose for a server or something like that, where you need the VGA out. So, um, mm. yeah. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it, really. Rest in peace, Rex Garrow, although you've been doing that for a number of years now. Um, oh, there were some things and potential stories I did actually want to read. There were like some, so there was some nice stuff. Um, oh, I suppose I I done a video about cooking as well because uh, numerous people have been saying to me, Hobbit, you should do a cooking video. So I did. Uh, where's potential stories? Oh, there it is. So what was it that I wanted to look up? Nope. No, no. These are all stories done by you. No, we're not going to do that. Um, those are going to be stories okay. for you. Um, oh, that's good. We've had contributions from someone that's not you or me. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. we got a guest publication. <laughs> Donny's just Donny's just trolling Geordie. Yeah. Uh, Don, Donny, Donny put in uh, Tom Spadden Reese's live chat. Question, what was the 2013 LA porn scene like, George? (laughs) (laughs) Are you fucking legend? (laughs) Tell us how reassuringly normal they are. Oh, come on, what's this? Tom, Thomas, Barden, (laughs) Reese. Barden, Reese. It's just... It it depends. Uh, where where is it? Where is it? He's 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 Brutus. He, he'll have people like Brutus and then washed on. Hobbit. Dimitri says, "What was the 2013 yeah. LA porn scene like?" You're crazy, <laughs> fucking radical, man. Three of the House oh, of Rothschild. I mean, I Child. Do a right LA in 2014, not 2013. I didn't really work in porn, although I did start a little rumor that I worked in porn. Look, I've been having fun dropping red pills on people and being like, "He's a wow, porn He's a Rothschild. He's this, that, and the other." Um, <laughs> I. I mean, look, man, you've got to take me as you find me. Just don't trust me. Don't trust anyone. Hey, George. Okay. Never trust Can an elf. you tell me how reassuringly normal porn <laughs> stars are? <laughs> Thanks. I was just reading an article about Lolo <laughs> Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, go- I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the volume up. See what um, response. Preservation. Of <laughs> Would you define it the same way, Thomas? Or... Oh, I think there's a whole variety of issues. They, they, they sort of really want together. cohesive movement. Can't even look at the yeah, screen. it's 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 a made up of lots of different different movements. <laughs> I do like the forms of rice. What do you reckon, George? Yeah, but I'm, I'm ambiguous. God, look, look at that. The sort of like the nervous, reassuring clutching of the, the I, face. I, don't, I, don't I know mean, even an autistic like are. me no, understands I'll that. I'll definitely look into that. It may, if that's, that, yeah, that is I'm not nervous. Animated, I'll definitely give it a push. nervous face. I take Bio Ray's uh, comments and criticism quite seriously. He's a very basic guy. Also, he float around in a lot of the right people's in cats. Your like, opinion, there's another one as well. You have this one guy who follows you, who goes George, by the name of. I guess I can say what HIV makes the ideal cucumber sandwich? Migrated over question to mark. I can't tell if it's a troll or not, but it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't cucumbers those? Okay, let's do two more questions. Salads, Sovereign Iris mm. said. Uh, sorry, what's that? Those yellow things. Oh, uh, uh, I've just I've just put in. Can you only trust the Rothschilds if you're in a restaurant with them? 
happening? Uh, there, there is yeah, we're bantering, yeah. we're bantering Geordie on Thomas Barton Reese's stream. Well, the, oh, yeah. you, the previous hour, Cass, we, we were talking about... Uh, Phil found this article on the, the archive, and uh, web archive, about mm. eight so eight things I learned from working in the porn industry by Jordan Gold. And one of the points which took a long time to get through was porn stars are reassuringly normal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, he's getting there. He's getting there. This oh. chat's fucking dead. Today he's got 105 people watching, watching and the chat's thing. fucking dead. So, but um, <laughs> Sir Ramus says, Jordan, do you name? believe the name of... Yep. How do you know? Oh, yeah. So, no, Casimir, right, how, how have you... The only, the only... Cass, now that you're here, how it's do in, you... Uh... Hello. How do you uh, how, how do you yeah, feel? Go on. Okay, I was going to say, how do you feel knowing that Skuggy <laughs> fancies <laughs> you? Uh, Daisy's just yeah. put in there. Just basically, I'm not angry with you, Jordan. Me, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Where you were from, Jordan? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm not angry. What? But Skuggy fancies you. You're, you're asking me for oh, sources. Dude, trust me. <laughs> I've heard the way, he, whenever I mention him, the way he sort of like sighs sigh whimsically. Jordi and Anglo. <laughs> oh, shit. Jordi's getting some shit. <laughs> Cute. It's Jordi and Anglo. <laughs> That's not even any of us. Oh, hang on. A friff. I want to co- I'm going to copy and paste Friff's question. Um... I'm, ju- I'm, ju- I'm just going to copy and paste it in this one. How the hell does a 22-year-old film studies graduate from London get a job in the LA porn industry? <laughs> oh, this this is gold. This this is fun. I, I mean, I had, I had some fun articles, but I'd much rather do this. We can all save the fun articles for Tuesday. Oh, are you? We're not live or nothing. Yeah, yeah, we're doing no. we're doing the Sunday show. I'm, we just the Sunday show is commenting on other people. Like Top Cat did a sports segment at seven p.m. That was good. Mm. Just try it again with a question. Cause you have to put Q to get a question. So Q, how do you get to run a restaurant with a Rothschild? <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, okay, Q. Uh, let's see. I'll I'll just copy and paste. Fremham this. on the sand? Question mark. <laughs> Fremham on Fremham. <laughs> Wait a minute, are they, are they, hang on. But no, man, thank you for having me on. Yeah, cheers, it's been really good to win. And we'll have to catch up again in the future. Oh, and no, I think once oh, no, more he's time running. passes, he's running. He's ducking out. He's ducking out. Is about and see that yeah, I'm not actually a member of the, uh, the elite, um, then I'll be vindicated. But until then, keep talking. Rumours aren't bad. No such thing as bad publicity. So. No such thing as bad publicity. That not- That's why you had your article <laughs> deleted. He's a runner. I'll just put... <laughs> 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 you, you can always see his sphincter twitching, can't Are you? Are you going <laughs> to get your article on eight things I learned in the porn industry purged from the internet archive? <laughs> No fucking, no, uh, uh, not willing to do maybe what needs I'm to be not, done. Some serious <laughs> like uh, so, yeah, I think we're I think we're an overlap there. Definitely. Sure, okay. sure. Sorry. No, no. Yeah, well, for example, the capital price can be used for it. Just yeah. 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 Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I know Take we'll be. Take that, you fucking mims. Don't try to trick anybody yeah. again. You. Okay. <laughs> well, we're heading towards two hours. So thanks very much again, Jordan. Thanks to people in the chat. It's been a great discussion. Thanks yes. for all your questions. It's been I'm a coming back great discussion. Is, is, he, tra- is he laughing off, he's so laughing again, off screen, Jordan, isn't he? You know, he knows we're on to him. On. It's been a great chat. <laughs> Say <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> you run away quickly when exposed. What the fuck? What the fuck? some prime shit, man. <laughs> whoever, whoever, whoever found out that Thomas Barden Reese was interviewing <laughs> the guy we were talking about, thank you very Thomas much. Bu- Thomas Bum the Reese. <laughs> <laughs>
He's a fourth of it. Oh, that, that was... The 37 Groiper show, said Damien. <laughs> yes, it, it, was, it was good to do a bit of, um, you know, bum rushing there. That was... Uh, that was... Well, Reese wouldn't, wouldn't ask the Rothschild question, would he? He would not ask a lot of questions. <laughs> so, Joe, I, I hope you were you a bottom or a top? I hope you you enjoyed this uh, this this uh, foray into someone else's stream. So we got some we got some fun news. We got a guest publication. You could always, you could always do it if you want to do stream sniping. If you go into your like your main page on. Uh, on um, YouTube. YouTube, and then you go to the live section, you can see a load of live streams that are on now. Oh, yeah, Banned Nationalism's live. Look, Mum, though, live streams live. Um, what the fuck? Hold on, eight <laughs> things I learned in porn. Oh, yeah, that that we just read that last <laughs> hour. That's why it took a long time to get to. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> rotary engine assembly. What's going on? That's amazing. How is this real, mate? How is this actually in front of me on my screen? What the hell? What? Yes. Well, it, it was a bit of a <laughs> it was a bit of a surprise for me as well when reading it. I was not prepared for like. Oh, did you want to watch it live now? Is how to sneak food on on the plane? Did you want that one? Well, actually, I wanted to do a bit from the guest publication. So, uh, where's 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 live live? Oh, here we go. Uh, Reese. So, Man United fans versus the Glazers. Watch Sky talking? News live. Um, I think that they've cut a load of this down. There used to be more of it. It's just sport now. What the fuck? Yeah. Um, Into TV Live Part 3. Into We Are The 2021 something. That looks... It looks like all sports, doesn't it? It's just... This this is the curated part of YouTube, I take it. Anyway, oh. guest publication this week is Sora News 24. And here's an article... Man's panty stolen from man in Nagoya by male-female team of thieves. So, a uh, large amount of cheap laundry was pilfered. By most metrics, crime levels in Japan are very low. Unfortunately, though, panty theft isn't unheard of. And so, ordinarily, someone getting arrested for stealing... Would you use f a fizzy rainbow thing as a bookmark, Hobbit? Fizzy rainbow thing as a bookmark... Would yeah, you, you know those fizzy it, rainbow. Um, I'll put it in doodling pad. Yeah, because uh, he, fucking... fizzy rainbow. He's uh, in a background. I fizzy rainbow, sweet thing. Oh, what well, you mean? So that's a hair <laughs> curler. Oh, I see. Yeah. So they're saying like you can put food inside the, the interior yeah. of your hair curler, and then you can eat your yeah. own hair with the sweet. You curl your hair, Hobbit. No. It's hard to sneak it on the plane. Is what I've, I've got a boar hair brush because boar hair bristles are good for brushing hair. But um, no, I don't have that. <clears throat> so anyway, by most metrics, crime levels in Japan are very low. Yeah, we got that bit. An incident took place in Nagoya, which was anything but ordinary, even by Japanese panty theft standards. Last week, the police arrested 25-year-old Kukimari for breaking into a home in Muriyama Ward the same part of the city which Maury lives. After gaining entry, Maury made off with 34 pairs of panties. One might expect that Maury's crime was the result of his infatuation with a woman who lived in the house, but according to police reports, <coughs> the sole occupant of the home is a 37-year-old man. In another unexpected twist, Maury's accomplice, is it, Maury's accomplice in pulling off the bandy raid, who has also been arrested, is a woman in her 20s. The burglary happened back in November, but it wasn't until last week that investigators arrested Maury and his partner in crime. There is no mistake that I entered the home and stole panties and other items, said Maury. And a search of his home turned up some 170 stolen items. It is unclear whether Maury knew that there was a treasure trove of panties inside the man's house, either for his personal use, decorative <sighs> purposes, or perhaps for guests. It's like, oh, what came into my house? Would you like to wear some cheap lingerie? 
I have 37 pairs you may choose from. Hey, this is a 37 year article. So, 37 pa pairs of panties are stolen. The sole occupant of the house is 37 years old. So, um, anyway, he just. I yeah. So, or maybe he just decided to rob the place and just happened to come across and decide to snag a few dozen pairs of panties during the heist. Ostensibly, the panties will be returned to their rightful owner once they're no longer needed as evidence in the case. It's likely, though, that after several months in the thief's possession, the owner would rather just replace the lingerie, especially since... Calling... See that one down the side? Head of Tokyo Olympics doesn't want women in leadership roles because he thinks they talk too much. <laughs> Based. Um, Based. <laughs> but, so, according to police estimates, the total market value of the 34 pairs of panties is 4,500 yen, which is about 43 US dollars. So that that's one article from our guest um uh Jerry Jerry Brudos, the serial killer, used to collect shoes, didn't he, from women he'd murdered. Well, no no murders took place. It was just like, hey, we'll get a load of panties from this uh man's house. So is it and here's another article for Sora News twenty four, the guest publication this week. Man questioned by police after building a girl out of plastic bottles and taking her out on the date. Inventor and performance artist Shota Mori... Is he, uh, is he related to that fucking... That, uh, that Kazakhstan fucking weirdo, is he? This is Japan's answer to the Kazakhstan bodybuilder. But anyway, Shota Mori yeah. <coughs> has been getting a taste of internet fame recently for his videos featuring a quick draw arm-mounted iPhone sleeve gun. Do we want to have a look at this iPhone-mounted sleeve gun? Man oh, making yeah, an yeah. iPhone sleeve gun like in the movie One Man Stories. Um, can I can I have a video? Watch on YouTube. The video is private. Uh, can I watch another video? This video is private. Ah, what about this one? Oh, we can watch this. Let's have a look at this iPhone gun. Ah, iPhone. Cosmos. Mushy mushy. Yes. Just it, hands. Cosmos. Ah. That that's. <laughs> <laughs> I quite I like this. This is like the um, Shindogu Useless Invention Society. <clears throat> the, the, I like it. It's 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 useless, but yet it fulfills a role I didn't know I needed. I like it. I, I you, the, it's useless, but at the same time, that is very cool. <laughs> the, wait, 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 wait. There was a sort of... something here, Hobbit. Do a little bit. I think this it... might be it. So in this video for his iPhone quick sleeve gun, there's like a woman's face and there's like a, a zoom in on it. Uh, but you're doing saying and doodling pad. Okay, so let's let's get to it. Looks like a phone, but it's definitely not a phone. Oh yes, I've seen that. Um, maybe we'll talk about it, it off the air. It it's something which I'm not going to talk about on the air. Um, yeah, but Fed posty. It's a bit. Of, it's a bit. It's the Fed <coughs> poster. It's the Fed poster nine thousand. Um, oh, what we're we talking about anyway. So back to Sora News. Yeah. Um, but that's far from his only creation, or even his weirdest creation. That honor goes, in my opinion, to Lisako, his so-called pet bottle lover. I assume that means pet is in poly polyethane tetra, poly polyethylene tetra. What does PET stand for? What type of plastic is that? I'll have to read it later. Don't take down the stream from on the sun. No, I, I, I'll, um, there's nothing too doxy in this one, so uh, that, that'll be fine. Apart from uh, when eBay was just like, oh, we think you might be interested in this thing as well. His video on YouTube, which is just as incomprehensible, even if you do understand Japanese, Documents the process of creating Lisako, which is Model 2, a series of dates they go on, and some other happenings, to use the Japanese expression. Ah, so this is like when they're describing a grumble mag as a fin book. I, I like Japanese euphemisms. I, I learned that one from watching this, uh, this uh, uh, nonce cartoon about this uh, skeleton that works in a comic shop in Japan, and they get all these people coming in, and they're asking for like weird fetishes, and uh, there, there was like this this oh it, it, oh it doesn't even get into it. But anyway, I, I learned from that the euphemism of uh, fin book. 
The first day involved the construction of a flowing summen slide on Maury's balcony, despite it being the middle of winter. Flowing summen is a popular summer activity where cooked noodles are sent down bamboo water slide for diners to nap. Have you have you heard of this? So uh. you, you make a, a water slide for your noodles and then you pick them up. Um all right. Polyethylene terephthalate. That's what it is. Uh, Polyethylene terephthalate. So it sounds healthy. Um, oh, yeah, so not that one. Uh, f- so, unfortunately, the date doesn't end well, but Lissako doesn't seem to mind. The images won't load, so we'll just have to imagine it. Then, inspired by the Ghibli uh, movie... I've got, a bit, I've got a bit of content putting in Dueling Pad, just for a bit of fun. Okay. Oh, silly food hacks. Yeah, okay, we'll do. Oh, I, I've seen child scissors there and cat ears. So, well, <laughs> okay. Then, inspired by the Ghibli movie <laughs> Castle in the Sky, Mori decides to try catching Lissako as she falls from the above. Makes this guacamole. Also, guacamole does not go well. well. Then, in a bizarre little interlude, Mori makes well, some like baby shit. And now the relationship hasn't been spent by the mutual lover movies. So there's no images in this thing, so uh, pit bottle lover. So let's just have a bit of that. So here is the guy. Here's some PET bottles. There's paper mache. You know. And, and uh, so very resourceful Japanese men. If you can't make... And there's PET. And just like capturing some noodles as they slow down with the thing. You know what? This this guy's all right. He's he's just like he, he's he's kind of like high effort clumsy slapstick, and I approve of that. But a funny thing started to happen. So. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you know what? This is absolutely fine. Pet bottle lover. Uh, so anyway, let, let's get the thing uh, Hemi's found about yummy food hacks and genius <laughs> kitchen tricks, shall we? So that we'll... Now a little bit fucking... Yeah. Every wish you... in, but... I'm just going to mute the... Yeah, because I don't want to listen to the thing. Like, oh, wow, yeah. yeah, just pick up some noodles and then use scissors to cut it because, like, did... why? Why, <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm a bit ahead of you, and I'm thinking God, why as well. God, God damn it! I hate it, 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 so much about this is is staged, and I hate it. And like the woman's trying <laughs> to be funny, and it's like oh, you, see, so you, you get like some 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 ingredients for making a, a guacamole or a salsa, and then you look at your iPhone. And that's because there's only actually about thirty seconds of content in the whole ten minutes, aren't there? Is it like there's only is it just like women and homosexuals that use iPhones? Is that is that the law? Is it just I think so, yeah. Yeah. So so you're going to use a plastic bag and then you're going to do a shit in it. There we go. There, there's the there's the guacamole shit. And guacamole. Then, so you're just going to do that and then why? Do you actually zip that all the way up? You wouldn't be able to do that because there'd be air in it. What? Why? Why are you doing this? Why? What? No. Just making the guacamole. You use a mortar and pestle, you dumb cunt. That bit of plastic to a pair of scissors. Why are you going to do that? Is is there a way I can uh, make this go even faster than two x? That's not a kitchen hack. That's not a kitchen hack. <laughs> yeah, but he's still picking it up exactly the same way you're supposed to do it, isn't it? Fuck off, is it? Apparently that's the way it's designed. I've seen it. I've seen it on things before. Do, do you do you like not doing the washing up? Then use oh, paper plates. Oh no, washing plates. up is hard. Oh yeah. Oh no, I want to use plate, but oh, it's all sparkling uh, because I've just cleaned it. No. Oh, there we go. Oh no, oh. she's not going to, is she? Why? Here's a, here's Why? another here's another idea. If you're gonna do that, why did you even get it out of the saucepan? Why did you not just like put a spoon in the sauce? But look, oh. we've actually got some decent content. So, <laughs> just a minute. Oh. Let, let's let's put it back oh, at normal God. normal playback speed. Normal playback yeah. speed. Yeah. So, she's just she's gonna put a, put a crisp down there. Yeah. She's looking at the remote control. Put it down. God, she's yeah. a frumpy cunt, isn't she? 
But she looks all right. She's lesbian. Actually, she she looks, lesbian. Like. But not this one. This one looks proper sexy as fuck. So I'll just put it quarter speed, right? So oh, it's it's not got the super anime. It's not very good anime. But oh yeah, round frame glasses, pink lipstick. It's like she knew I was going to be watching this, and she, she's just delighted. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Oh fuck! You know, you know. There's probably some like pop. Oh, <laughs> it's like, all over her crisps. Oh, you know someone that there's someone who has a specific sexual thing. Oh, lipstick. She she's got like she's going on the date with me. Oh no! Don't show that students versus teach that fucking teacher. Look at the state of her. But it, this is the sort of stuff with like the oversaturated bright colours. It just it, it's mm. it's fucking clickbait. I can't. Cool girly hacks to save your day. F- fuck. Horsky versus tax. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna get content strike for this, aren't I? Warning. Heads up. We've detected. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, so we're not gonna do any more of that bullshit anymore. Yeah. Hemi trying to get my show uh, Zuckerberged. Getting in the zuck. Yeah. Um, so anyway, let's go back to... It's not even a TV fucking show. Fuck off, YouTube. It's not even a TV show. Get over your fucking self. It, well, it, that's the stuff which YouTube wants to promote, so that's the stuff which we're not going to do. Heads up, you can't write audio and video in your stream. Your stream may be temporarily blocked. Press 1 in the chat if it's not blocked. Um, press 2 in the chat if you can't see this. <laughs> Press three in the chat if you haven't been blocked by Top. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, g- gorgeous gold gun. Can I push a pizza? You know what? This might be a foreign language site, but they are better at journalism with the alliteration. Gorgeous gold gun dams are good, god expensive photographs. Gundams. Gun dams. Gun dams. Gun gun dams. They're like when you want to do like combine the the, the joys of hydroelectric power with with firearms. So uh, uh, stop watching t- stop watching Japanese stuff because it's garbage. Japanese schoolgirl and karate teen subdue violent shoplifter. Martial you don't art- need to do that. Just watch just watch uh, James Bond. That Ma- do you? Martial artist happy to be able to put skills to use. That sounds all right. Um, in, Jap- in a Japanese city, you're never very far from a vending machine or convenience store. Those who are both or first... a vending machine with, ni- with knickers in it, because the, the Japanese are based in fucking trad. They are so trad. Um, They're fucking not trad in the fucking least. They're slitty-eyed fuckers, and we should have done the proper job in... Hirosh- I, Hiroshima should have been the start of it, not the end of it. I won't have any, I won't have any disrespect to my slitty-eyed neighbours... If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have the electronics I enjoy, and the music I make wouldn't have been possible. You know that's absolute bollocks, don't you, Hobbit? What the co- we, we'd, we'd have had you'd have had it over here just sooner and better made. Well, but like the microcorg is Japanese, so it's it's like better made. Yeah, but, it's, yeah, but it's it's pilfered British technology. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that that go, goes without well saying. But, yeah. You know that they made it. It's it's like saying that. I really like the Master MX-5. The Master MX-5 would not have existed if it wasn't for the MGB, which is a better car. Um, what would be nice is an MGB's body and styling, but with like modern Japanese underneath, like an MX-5. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, even the prices at supermarket in Yokohama's Isogo Ward apparently weren't low enough for one 19-year-old shopper. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been called a shopper, since instead of buying anything, you decided to... See a shoplifter. He just decided to steal a drink, Hemi. He decided to steal a drink last Tuesday night. He's showing off a talent for multitasking, and the shoplifter decided to add assault to his list of crimes by punching a 54-year-old security guard. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We did forget, didn't we, Donny? Fuck Sojo. Oh. Fuck Sojo. Yeah, we haven't fuck had a fuck Sojo in a while. Yeah. Yeah, you saw your what's his name? Sawjo. Fuck Ayatollah. Fuck Ayatollah. Fuck Jojo. Fucking. Yeah. Jojo's yeah, Jojo. not fun in the slightest. Jojo's dimension. bizarre adventure. Fuck yeah. that. Crap. Pure utter crap. You're old. Come back, buddy. We miss you. Yeah, and Scuggy, come back. Oh, for some reason, when we expose homosexual well, desires, probably got himself a boyfriend and he's perfectly happy. A bit. Yeah. I see. One, 
Why do you think really? I've been so inactive recently? I, you know, <laughs> I've been. No, I've That's been. <laughs> what, you got yourself a boyfriend, W. Casper? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Scuggy. Uh, <laughs> hey, did you know I mean, Scotty fancies the, the, you? The whole, the, the whole, the whole Bolton divide is—I don't know. I think he's a bit much. I, I don't. I just don't think they could keep that long-distance love ma maintained. Uh, Luckily, well, well, yeah, everyone dies in the end, mate. You don't need to be such a Debbie Downer about it. It's going well so far. So why, <laughs> why have you got a, you know, of course, you know, forever and ever on. Luckily, so help was nearby. Was part, Though not in the form of additional security staff, a 17-year-old high school girl who'd been on the way home and heard the commotion came to the rescue, <sighs> grabbing the violent shoplifter by the arm. When the shoplifter can't have been that violent. He got beat up by a 17-year-old girl. When the shoplifter shook her off and tried to run away, the school girl's 18-year-old male companion gave chase. He quickly caught up to the shoplifter, put him in headlock, and delivered a series of knee strikes to subdue him until police arrived and placed the shoplifter under arrest. The teens have been issued a letter of comment. You see... So basically, the girl did fuck all, and it was the bloke that did it all. Yeah, but they, they, they're trying to say, well, <laughs> you know, well done for having a go, li little girl. You know, here, here's a pit on the head. But this is... A, if we were living in a nice society, if you beat up a shoplifter, you'd get a letter of commendation from the police. You wouldn't be arrested for assault. Um, mm. Anyway, the teens have been issued a letter of commendation from the Kanagawa Prefecture's Police, Isago Precinct, and it turns out... Oh, there's... Hobbit, what have you been watching on Toy Galaxy lately? Uh, I, I haven't. Oh, no, I, I watched Toxic Crusader, because did you know did that you? there was a, like a cartoon of, of the Toxic Avenger... What, what, yes, I do actually remember it from the nineties, wasn't it? What, what was it about the nineties? Also, Attack of the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes had a, t had a cartoon as well, didn't it? What is it about exactly the all these tomatoes. really gory films like RoboCop and Toxic Avenger? And it's like we need to appeal <laughs> to RoboCop was rubbish. He just used to keep running out of battery all the time. It was crap. Yeah, but how is it like a film? Where <laughs> Did the... you ever watch the RoboCop one? It's like, no. oh no, it's a bit tricky. I'm running out of battery. Oh no, no I'm all right. I've caught him. <laughs> That's basically Nearly every episode of the RoboCop cartoon is terrible. Well, there's Rambo as well. Did you know there was Rambo as well, Hobbit? There's a Rambo children's cartoon. Oh, so Rambo, who, like, oh, I'm wounded. I'm going to pour gunpowder into my wound and then uh, burn it to cauterize the wound. Yeah. Or, 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 like, you know, I'm, I'm going to, like, stab this Viet Cong guard <laughs> in the front. I, I I learned something today, kids. I've learned you can if a sheriff's standing on a roof, you can shoot through the roof and kill him. <laughs> I've learned that I'm friends with an incel, a grave, grave incel. I've learned, I, I learned incel. something today, kids. I learned that if you pretend to be dead while piling it in choppy, you can pretend to wake up and then shoot shoot the opposing guy with the rocket launcher and kill him. Today, today, what kids, I learned an important lesson that if you take an M60 and wrap a load of bullets around your bicep, it looks really fucking cool, especially when you're shooting up all the computers. <laughs> and at the end of it, just to make I sure... I learned, I learned something today, kids. I, I, I learned that when, you, that, when, that when you shoot Burmese people with a 50 cal, they explode. <laughs> <laughs> but today, kids, yeah, I learned... learned something today. This Jewish guy was in a porno. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's in the all right, too. <laughs> but today, kids, I learned something really important that when you're being chased by a a a, a Hind Mi-24 and a, a helicopter gunship, and all you've got is an old Soviet era tank, run straight forward to it, and then just before it crashes into the helicopter, jump out the hatch at the bottom. That's why I learned today, kids. Um, so, so yeah, um, let's this let's see more about this there. So. Uh, it turns out there's a reason for the 18-year-old's combat prowess. I learned something today, kids. If you're running away from local law enforcement, you, you, can, you, can, you can create devastating traps if you, even, even if you're only armed with a knife. Oh, Rambo First Blood is <laughs> a very different film. Yeah. <laughs> we're, talking, we're talking about Rambo the cartoon. A Jewish guy involved in porno. Oh, Imagine no. my sh Nordic. <laughs> Nordic. Did you did you did you see him, did you see him run away from the Thomas Barden restream when we went in there? Nordic, no. you, you have missed all out on some twenty four karat gold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's be... 24 karat I... Jordan gold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. Stream title. Stream title. 
The th- <laughs> why, why is it? Carat Jordan Gold. Okay. Why is it that you can't make this shit up? Like, why? Why is life so humorous? Because it would be very boring if it wasn't. Twenty-four yeah, like, carat Jordan Gold. That's a, that's did, really I, did, I, uh, did I miss big occurrences? Today I... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Put, I'm gonna Jordan was on Thomas well. Barden Reese's stream. We we joined in and we were just asking some questions, bro. We were just asking some questions. All we wanted to do was ask some questions. <laughs> gonna, and he ran away from the stream. I've got to go, I've got to go, Thomas. I can't take anymore. I, I've got, I've, I've got to change... You're asking permanent, per, pertinent questions. I've got to change yeah. the description of today's video. So today I learned... Uh, oh no, kids! Uh, Semi <laughs> Today Hello, I learned that porn stars are reassuringly normal. There we go. George, George ran away from from edginess. What? Yeah, I thought, I thought, like a magic I trick. thought this, I've actually the, seen this I in action being pulled out of a vagina, and it was a bit, it was a bit weird, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Well, there was a bit. <laughs> You, you'll have to rewind. I think it was around about the first hour of the show, uh, uh, Nordic. But there was a bit in it where he was talking about something or other, and I was like, "So that's why you deleted the article Eight Things I Learned from Working in the Porn Industry." And uh, and this time, the the investigative journalism wasn't done by Friff Wolf, who's been resting on no, his laurels. Sweepy Wolf, Sweepy Wolf was been resting on his loss of laurels, hasn't he? Yeah, it? so is this time done by our mate Phil, and uh, so... <gasps> Hobbit, remember. And guys, it's glow in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, this is what happens when Phil's not, when Phil's not streaming about socialism, he's like out there trying to ruin people. <laughs> Let's test if this bad boy is actually glow in the dark. (laughs) (laughs) Glow in the dark is just such a good phrase. Oh, fucking. I was sparring the other day, Hemi, and uh, I pulled pulled my gloves out, my hands out of the gloves afterwards, and I went, oh, when you pull it out, it sounds like you're falling down the stairs. (laughs) (laughs) Oh... See, so, uh, yeah, no, I, I I, do recommend you watch the first Pull it hour out, of the show. It sounds like someone's falling down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to do, like, a, a shortening of the information you discovered. You know, it's like a, a nice, concise video of some kind. You're, you're telling me... This, like, this is really important stuff. Like, this, like that's not just, like, a, a funny joke. Like, these involvements well, are quite... I am, I am to, recording. To when using products like these or having sex with a guy, yeah, yeah. that communication is key. I am recording <laughs> this, so I suppose communication I could, is key, Casimir. I could clip so Communication is key, Casimir. <laughs> You're talking key. about a certain person who might be on certain performance enhancers. Oh yeah, we we also address the the this, yeah. this the mop cat well, issue as well. Yeah, you, you know you know how we did it? we discussed that he's acting quite feminine recently. Yeah. Well, I was doing a little bit of research, and actually, what I found was that um, the reason that that people get caught on steroids it's not because they have like really high testosterone levels. It's that when people are on steroids, their t- their testosterone levels are actually un naturally low it's okay you fucking it's almost as if you're using an endocrine disrupting drug and it affects your natural hormone balance it's weird that well i was looking at a dude who was trying to claim that he was natural and he claimed that he was natural because he only had testosterone level of 21 nanograms uh a deciliter i think it was really fucking low and he was like, see, I can't be on steroids because my testosterone levels are really low. And so, everyone was looking at him and just like, no. When you're no, you just proved 20, you're on steroids. 21 centiliters have come. Is that like, uh, is that Jahan's level of testosterone? Got? That's yeah. like. That's like a 90 year old man's level of have, testosterone. Have you. Um... Yeah, Jahan's level. You, you're not familiar with uh, Alexander. Well, fuck all those cunts. You're not familiar with Alexander <laughs> Jahan, are you? Um, no. It's probably for the best. It's probably for the best, mate. Probably. The 
<laughs> so why are people in the chat getting upset with this? <laughs> like, what, what, the fuck is, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Oh, Hemi, that that, that drop yeah, was about an hour that. too late. You you could have played that when I was reading about Lola Ferrari and her death. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, like, what is what is wrong with us? Why don't we want to just you know fuck these sixteen year olds in marriage before the packies do? Okay, all right. Here's the fucking million dollar oh, comment. Oh, don't get, don't no, get no, me I'm gonna fucking barge in here now. I'm gonna tell you the, the hard, <laughs> the hardcore fucking truth that you guys don't want to hear. Here's the fucking truth of the matter. You don't want to fuck these sixteen year old girls. No, listen. <laughs> No, 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 no. You don't want to fuck them, but some packy's going to do it instead. Who <laughs> <laughs> says that? But he said it's in marriage, so it's all good. Yeah, You're yeah. fucking insane, mate. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but he said it's in marriage, so it's fine, you know. It's, it's in marriage. Trad, like in Minecraft. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> Can't make it off. We're just surrounded by lol cows. <laughs> honest work for honest pay. I assume you've done graft in your life. I assume that you've, I don't know, worked on a building site or whatever. Because you're a proper man. You understand what it's like to put hours in and expect to be paid for it. Of course, I'm not doing this shit forever for no money. That's retarded. <laughs> Could you imagine him working on a building site? Yes, yes, I could. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, fall, he'd fall off of like six stories of scaffolding within half an hour. I could picture it. But I, I, what the fuck is this one? Oh, what are you going to do, top cunt? <laughs> <laughs> I, I could just imagine Unwashed being on the same building site. My mate was telling me about this guy who came to work for their firm and he says, oh yeah, for his birthday one day he was he was just one of the what it's like, one of the guys from the JCB digger with like a front scoop scooped him out of the road and then lifted him up like 20 foot high and they were all just like, you know, birthday bumps, they were just waggling the, yeah. like, the arm and just like, <laughs> make him try to fall out of the thing and Jesus. giving him birthday Imagine bumps calling someone way. out because they had too many beers and fucking told someone they were going to leather them <laughs> this coming from the guy who fucks dogs when he's wasted. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, but... Stop, you saying you yeah, fuck but... dogs, Hobbit, or what? What? Those, <laughs> those, those, those people aren't publicly sick true? on themselves. Yeah, yeah. I heard, I heard that there's actually a channel in this server that I had access to. No, I'm going to mute you. I'm going to shut I'm going to have my say. <laughs> <laughs> my going to die. I love how he muted everyone. <laughs> I've just put the fucking fuck you! It was five and you'll get nuts. Seven four zero. I am twenty eight. There, uh, yeah, live on the Skype. Say radical agenda. The more you talk, less I have to. We have Billy Big Bollocks. Uh, uh, what is your agenda there, sir? So, so yeah, oh, wait, where's my where's my favourite? Oh, I've got to go to the Charlie the Charlie folder. Aww. He has his own <laughs> folder. Casimir, got older. Casimir left before we got to hear you're it. You're fat, you're weak, you're a faggot, and you're about to find out how much of a faggot very soon. <laughs> He's gonna bum him. He's gonna fucking bum him and show him just how much of a faggot Why he is. is. Why is he so bad at fucking I know. jelly tits ash? <laughs> it is literally like that Mike Tyson one. I'll fuck you till you love me, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm fucking I'm Hitler, you shoppy up. little cunt. <laughs> Do you know how gay you are? I'm going to show you how gay you are. Get yeah, them yeah. fucking trousers off. Yeah, come on. Come on, look, this is how gay you are. <laughs> Oh, here Tell him is. from me, if the standards in this movement are ever to be enforced, it won't be by overweight, sexual deviants who enjoy abusing women. It won't be by guys that can't throw a Jew out of their house either, you know, <laughs> and get caught in a hotel room with 14-year-old girls. Oh! But, oh, allegedly. Well, allegedly, allegedly. But maybe it will be... <laughs> 
Maybe <laughs> it will be done by Scottish synthesizer enthusiasts who bought up the last pro called Prologue 16. Jelly tits ass. Bastard. <laughs> Jelly tits ash. But here's, here's a headline. I'd Jelly like tits ash. Gunpowder Jelly factory tits ash. building Jelly damage tits by ash. normal explosion. <laughs> Jelly tits ash. So you know, just a normal explosion. Normal explosion in the gunpowder factory. Oh yeah, it's just a normal I explosion. Have I have AUT. I I haven't done that to you for a long while, Hobbit. <laughs> Just a normal explosion in a gunpowder factory, that's all. That's all. Really. <laughs> but the fact Play is, again. as it's coming up to the, the last part of the show, it's coming up to the last well, part of the you show. You have a look into Beirut. Seems we've and, both got autism, haven't we? And the fact is, the, the fact is, <laughs> it, it's like Jerry Nadler shits himself. Fucking pig, what, 20 grand a year to be a fucking knobhead? I'm not going to distra be distracted from the fact Gerald Nadler shits himself live on air. Pulls her mask down so she can get the full benefit of uh, the crop dusting. It's hemming. Fucking bastard. <laughs> uh, I think that was a front wheel skid, the technical uh, uh, term. Cringe! Not only are they racist, Dad, but they're sexist too. Fucking front wheel skid. <laughs> 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 and that's the end of the show, so everyone can fuck off now. Bye. Oh, no. Say up. hello. That's yeah. it.